Hey everybody and welcome to Chairman of the Board. Today I'm being a bit negative and counting down my top 10 worst board games of all time. Now these are games that I think are objectively bad, just have very few redeeming qualities and I really can't understand how anybody likes them. Um, let's get started, I'll talk through, talk through each one as I go and uh, we'll go from there. So at number 10 I have Fallout. Now Fallout is probably the game that I can see why some people might like it. People who are really into the thematics of games. Now this is obviously based on the video game series, um, on this kind of dystopian post-apocalyptic world. Um, it's a game where it's kind of like a semi-cooperative kind of feel to it, but it's an absolute mess of a, of a kind of gameplay wise, it's just awful. I mean, there's this kind of good like story deck where you can kind of do these events and kind of events come back to haunt you and you go through this really kind of very good narrative. But the gameplay itself is absolutely terrible. The winning conditions made absolutely no sense whatsoever. And for such a big release, this was such a disappointment. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the, the game or anything like that. But you know, I thought it was made by a good company. It was had a lot of hype. It had really nice production and pieces. And I was so, so like, almost like, head and hands kind of just completely mystified how this managed to get printed and managed to get past playtesting and played. It was awful. I ended up winning the game by passing like almost all of my turns just because I found like this kind of gameplay loop in the game. Oh, absolute shambles of a game. Fallout. I mean, I apologise if you like the genre and you like the game. I'm, I'm a Euro gamer. I don't really like story driven games, at least not purely story driven games, but this one was absolutely terrible. That's Fallout at number 10. At number nine, I have Cards Against Humanity. Okay, so this one is, I can, I can understand the kind of market for it. You know, very, very casual people who get together with their friends, um, just like to say a bunch of swear words and try to be as offensive as possible. But the problem with this game is that, you know, after one kind of go round, it's just not funny anymore. I mean, I understand, you know, these kind of juvenile mindsets, people who enjoy this. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not prudish whatsoever. I don't get offended by anything. It's just, I just don't find it funny at all. And you know that one time where someone does kind of find a really funny, clever and witty combination of cards? The, the, the rudest is going to win. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I just don't understand it and I don't get it. It's just not good. That's Cards Against Humanity. Uh, and number eight, I have a bit of a funny one. Um, this is actually a game that Tom Vassell actually praised and I'm really surprised why he did. This five second rule. Now this is a, a mass produced kind of party game for families, which is, I can kind of see why it's kind of unfair to put it on a hobby list like this. But God, this game is awful. Literally you get given a, a kind of subject and you've got to name five, um, five kind of things that relate to that subject within five seconds and it is absolutely shoddy. There's no right or wrong answers on a lot of these questions. Like one of them was like, name five red things. And you know, I'm sure the intention behind that is to name diverse red things. But I just said, you know, red jumper, red t-shirt, red socks. And it's just broken, it doesn't work. It's absolutely crap. Um, just, yeah, awful, awful game. Um, it was so bad, it was actually quite funny. That's how bad it was. So at number eight, I have five second rule. Uh, at number seven, uh, I have uh, the Walking Dead board game. Now, again, this is a, a, I'm not into the series, I'm not into zombie games or anything like that, which is not actually a reflection on the game itself. I mean, I was open to enjoying it, I wanted to play it and have a good time, but my God, this is so dated and so awful. I mean, it's a roll and move game where you're basically rolling around this, this map, um, fighting the zombies when you get to each corner, and collecting cards and, and eventually getting to the middle once you've gotten, the, gotten all the cards. So it's like a game that was kind of circa 1980, but it's a recent-ish game. Um, it's very expensive for what it is. It's just so, so luck dependent. And the odds against you are just absolutely ridiculous. Um, it has this awful mechanic where if you kind of get eliminated, you turn into a zombie and it becomes even more punishing for the players. It's just an absolute shambles. It's awful. Um, and it's, it costs a lot of money as well. It's absolutely unbelievably bad. That is the Walking Dead board game. And number six, I have a, an incredibly popular game in Munchkin. Now I understand that kind of the more you get into this hobby, people kind of lean away from Munchkin and I'm not being snobby. I'm not trying to be snobby or, or look my, down, my nose down on anyone who does enjoy the game, but I just don't get it at all. The take that in it is absolutely ridiculous. I think the game in itself is just completely flawed. It has this real kind of sluggish feel to it where you kind of just um, ticking along these levels, trying to get to level 10 by beating these different monsters. 
um, that I hate the fact that the person in the lead just kind of gets absolutely smashed by the other players by throwing in, in those kind of wandering monsters. And then the person always in second seems to win. So it's just kind of broken by its design, in my opinion. It's awful. This kind of take that for the sake of take that. And it's just a horrible, horrible, messy game that I absolutely just despise. That is um, Munchkin. At number five, I have another very, very messy game in my opinion, but again, one that's incredibly popular, that's Flux. Now, there's loads of different kind of types of skins of this game, like Pirates, you've got your Maths, you've got Monty Python, you've got, you know, all these different kind of themes on the game, but the game is essentially the same, where you're basically um, drawing cards and playing cards, and basically you're trying to collect a couple of different items, cards in the deck, and... Um, as soon as you get those two items, you win the game. But the problem is everyone keeps changing the rules of the game. That, well, that's the idea of the game is, is in flux. You know, you're trying to, um, you know, the winning conditions are constantly changing. The amount of cards you play are constantly changing. The, the cards you draw are constantly changing. But it's just, oh, again, it's just such a sluggish feel to it. It can outstay its welcome drastically. Again, take that for the sake of take that. It's just a horrible game. It looks awful. It plays awfully. It's confusing. It's convoluted and just an ugly mess of a game that is flux at number four i have another kind of popular kind of mass produced well, i say mass produced it's it's kind of the next level to that in, inside of the hobby which is exploding kittens now i understand there is a market for this as well but again it's just an absolute luck fest um no skill no choices or anything like that that goes into it it's the standard what you know rinse and repeat game where you just kind of you know you get this cards that look on the top deck you know um if you draw one of these exploding kittens, you get to play a diffuse card and then you're fine. If you're unlucky, then you're out of the game. Um, it's it's horrible. Uh, I hated every second of it. And just, I imagine you've probably played it, but it's terrible in every way you can imagine. I hated it. That is exploding kittens at number four. At number three, I have probably the heaviest, in fact, way, way the heaviest game on the list with Thunder Alley. Now, um, this is a racing game. It's kind of a, an old GMT game, but I think this is just so bad in the fact that it's just no fun whatsoever. It doesn't feel like a racing game. It is boring. It is excessively long. It went on for hours. And then right towards the end of the race, we had this card where everything kind of had to be re-racked, like basically start from scratch. So all the kind of hour and a half we played before it was completely void. It constantly starts and stops it is just an absolute frustrating game. Um, really, really agitated me and I hated every second of it. Um, I, I, I can't even understand why anyone would enjoy this. And I know it's reasonably popular and I think it's, you know, it's done relatively well over the years. And I cannot understand it. It is just awful. No fun at all. That is Thunder Alley. And number two, I have a game that I actually picked up very recently and I've just done a review of it actually, if you want to check it out. Um, that is Go Town. Now this is one of the little tiny box games from Helvetic and they make some other pretty good games. Um, this one is absolutely atrocious. It's a 2017 game and again, it feels so old. Uh, basically, it's a horrible take that game where you're trying to build these towers and you are basically just drawing cards and playing cards in your hand with no thought whatsoever, um, trying to smash your opponent's tower down, trying to protect yours. But again, it's just a complete luck fest. You can just Again, there's, there's no choices at all whatsoever. You, you may as well just play all the cards in your hand every turn. Um, again, I, I just had one quick go with my girlfriend and just got rid of it. Awful. Um, it plays you know, very quickly, but it doesn't even warrant, warrant that quick playing time. It doesn't even make a good game for any kind of reason whatsoever. Horrible, awful game. Go town. And at number one um, is a game that uh, oh, oh my god, it is just absolutely shocking. This is The Bugman's Game by Games Workshop. Now, this is a game I'm sure a lot of people haven't played this one. I just played it on the off chance because I know someone who, at, at my gaming club who um, I guess he's into Games Workshop and he brought this along. I thought this game was kind of from 1975. It is that kind of dated, that punishing, that, that you know, the take that in that game is just pure... You know, there's, there's no rhyme or reason behind it. Just literally just completely throw someone under the bus for no reason whatsoever. It's horrible. So it's a game where you have all these dwarfs in this bar and you're trying to go back and for, um, to and throw the bar um, by rolling dice. It's a roll and move game again. 
and basically as soon as you get to the bar someone can just play a card and make you go straight back to your table and that's it you've got to start like a whole process all over again um it's pure luck it's it looks i say it looks awful it looks okay but the production quality isn't good um it, again it just felt so old it was an absolute slog to get through it was painful um just you know slowly ticking along that grid trying to get close to the bar someone messes you over you're like oh my god i just wanted to throw the game out the window and burn it i hated it um yeah literally the worst game i've ever played and i cannot understand how anyone could get any enjoyment whatsoever out of it no challenge no no rhyme or reason behind anything you're doing just terrible 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 and the worst game i've ever played up to this point um so sorry to bring you a negative list but i thought it was quite funny to go through these games um i'll do a video of games i actually hate and ones that i kind of think i can understand why people like them but i personally hate them but i'll do that video soon um that was my worst games of all time so i hope you've enjoyed the video uh, please hit like and subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos too if there's any games that you think are the worst games of all time you objectively hate, you think they're awful and you can't understand why anyone likes them, leave it in the comments and I'll, um, I'll give you a, a little chat back and see what we think. Um, yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time on Chairman of the Board. Bye.